Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton Daily Extra live. And the big question today is, will Hamas Rodriguez stay at Everton? There was some rumours overnight um, from the same show in Madrid that broke the news of Carlo Ancelotti going to Real Madrid. Um, the the rumours said, if you didn't see them, that basically Everton didn't need them or, you know, we ain't going to use him. He was surplus to requirements and um, he was trying to probably engineer a move back to Real Madrid. I'd imagine to be with Carlo Ancelotti. Now, we don't know how true, how true this is. Obviously, the last time um, it was poo-pooed, but there has been little rumblings over, obviously, Hamas Rodriguez, obviously, earlier in the summer. Um, and obviously, you know, anyone who watched the show, Baz and I did yesterday regarding the, the 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 game, would know that both of us, you know, felt like once they were back from Orlando that something might change in the demeanour of, of him and the club. Because he'd gone to Florida, he'd gone to Orlando, he was the big draw, obviously. He was, um, you know, I imagine it was in the contract for the tournament that he was there um but now it's getting down to business now it's reality now it's the premier league in two weeks tomorrow <clears throat> against uh, southampton um does he really fit in to rafa benitez's system um which is looks at the moment like it's all geared at the front end anyway to be all about power and pace especially pace does Hamas Rodriguez fit into that system. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, personally, I would love love Hamas Rodriguez to stay at the football club. I think he's a absolute tr top class footballer that you can, you know, you you what you're asking the question is maybe is can we get more out of the player? Can you know there was talk of the player maybe not being at the levels fitness wise that. Rafa Benitez wanted um, and that's fair enough players shouldn't be getting away with anything no matter who they are if the players if the manager's got a certain level of standards you know he, he requires from the players then he shouldn't be getting away away with it how much does he want it you know does he see because this is the thing isn't it a lot of people will take Hamas Rodriguez's stand, uh, side on this if this is true but how much does he want it does he does he want to be at Everton you know does he does he or is he just thought, well, Carlo's gone. These are not in Europe. I might as well get off and try and find a club that are in Europe or, or I can live the easy life or whatever. You know, if you're looking out your window at Liverpool today, I don't know if that's going to inspire you to stay when you could be in uh, sunny Spain. So, he is a fantastic player, but does would he do enough? I, I mean, as, as I said, goals-wise, he's taking a lot of goals out the side um, if we were to lose him so personally i don't want him to go um he's he's ge genuinely one of the f first world-class players we've had in a very very long time i know we signed lukaku seven years today and you could say he was world-class um but it, he grew into that level and it maybe wasn't always appreciated where hamas rodriguez is a little bit something a little bit something different so um james dunlap says afternoon blues afternoon james Martin says the fact the club are actually thinking of letting James Hammers go is laughable. Maybe. Pipe says the fact Hammers leaving is even an idea is absolutely disappointing. Uh, Matt Sumner says undoubtedly amazing player, but whether or not he fits what Rafa plans long term, you can't get away from not making runs in a Rafa team, and I don't know if we can if he is built for that style of play. Um, no, I, I I agree with I agree with all of that. What's just been said there by the different people. I, could he play in the number ten role? Absolutely. Would he have to work harder? Absolutely. And maybe that's a conversation they've had. We're not privy to that conversation. Maybe, maybe there hasn't been any conversations. But if the manager's looking for more than than to make this team better, then we should be looking for more. 
Um, Navidson says, afternoon, Pez, afternoon, mate. Evertonian Luke. Uh, how are we? Are we are well, Luke. Wayne Spoons, hi, guys. Uh, Finn says, squat's happening. Um, not Lewis Wright. Says, Hammers will stay here. Generally wants to be here. Looks happy. Keen on the other hand, I reckon we'll go. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I listen, he's looked very happy over in Orlando. Training in Orlando. Uh, he's look, looked really happy. And the club have used all that to their uh, advantage in um, prepping for this, in for the flood of the cup in Orlando. It's just now's down to reality now. Now with the now this you know that was hard work, but this is where this is business end now of pre season. Two weeks till the season starts. Uh, James Dunlop says I've done that. Well, you've done. You've said it twice. Uh, FIFA man, let's go. Says what do you think about Yeri Mina? I think Yeri Mina obviously he's not back from pre season uh, into pre season yet after the after being in the Copper America. I think he'll have to prove his fitness, and if he doesn't, I can imagine Everton will sell him if they get an offer for him. Because I really like Yeremy, and I think he's our best defender. But last season, he didn't play enough games. He didn't create a partnership that you could use for the whole season, and I think that's that's massively important. And if they could get decent money for him and bring someone in, who's maybe who you know will play over the season, then... Um, that's more important, I think. Ned, nice one, mate. Uh, Wamey Spoon says, no one is buying Lamb Legs or Delph. I'm I, not really 100% sure who Lamb Legs is, I must admit. Um, Michael says, just nonsense journalism again. You can't, we can't afford to let him go. You can't say it's nonsense journalism, though, because last time we said it was nonsense journalism from these people in uh, Madrid and Carlo left the next day so you can't we can't necessarily say it's nonsense you know? it might be a more of a play a come and get me play but um can't say it's nonsense journalism because there's been there's been chat all there's been chat all summer about this and it's more of a reality now the back from the floor of the cup so we'll have to wait and see um, Davidson says, find it absolutely mind blowing that we're even considering letting Cameras go. Either we've had a bid too good to turn down, or he's is is an attitude uh, issue that Benitez doesn't like. Well, what if just playing devil's advocate? What if um, the money we got from Hammers Rodriguez and the wages that were off the bench, off the uh, you know, off the club, would allow us to bring in a Dumfries? Um, in a position that we really need, really need. You know, what if that that would allow it? I know a lot of people waiting for Moiskeen to leave the club for that to happen. But if we're waiting on Dumfries, um, we need an absolute right back. That's our number one priority. What if it was allow it? And and Benitez wasn't sold on him, but Hamas wasn't also sold on Benitez. Would that make a difference? Um. Pipe says Hammers wants to be here, but what for whatever reasons we want to get rid of our best player. Does he want to be here though? I mean, genuinely, does he want to be here? I don't know. I don't. I honestly don't don't think you know you could say that hundred uh, percent. Adam Brook says, "Hold everything. If he goes, who will be number ten? If the situation um, in the number ten in the team." Um, well you've seen Gray play there the other day so a Wobi yeah I think what we've seen in the games is though Rafa Benitez wants power and pace uh, in that in, in you know in the front three or behind the behind the striker and the three behind the striker uh, Alex says, if a player creates one third of your chances and you've got a hungry goal scorer in Dominic Carvalho, and then you keep him and build a team around them. No, I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree with that, 100%. Because the goals um, you give up 
by not having them are absolutely huge. And you're taking a lot of goals out your side by not having them. Steve Kelly says, I do worry if Hammers leaves. Where would that creativity come from with a lack of goals in the team already? Do you think it, do you think it's both sides who potentially want out or just the club and Rafa? Um, as I was saying, there, Steve, there are, there are a hun- put it this way, if he really wants to stay and the manager's asking him to do more work, then that's on the player, isn't it? That's 100% on the player to do that work. Has he got it? I've, you know, I've seen reports from Colombia saying, and these are just from journalists in, 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 in um, Colombia saying, what, well, how they should be doing this summer is knuckling down at Everton and saying, no, I'm going to play. I'm going to play for this manager. I've signed a deal. Because ultimately, Real Madrid didn't want him. And he sat on the bench for like three years there. He comes to Everton. He plays games. Okay, he gets injured. And he misses out on some. But the games he played in, he affected quite a lot of them. There was only, there was only a couple of games, maybe two or three games, that he really didn't do anything in. So, for him, I think he's got to make that decision whether, and it's whether he's got he's capable. Do I knuckle down here at a team that wants me? And he'll find next if he plays, and he goes and plays at Goodison Park, he'll see that he's he'll be loved. And maybe that's half the problem is that he hasn't played at Goodison Park, so therefore he doesn't have a relationship with the fans, and the fans will adore Hamas Rodriguez. I I imagine they will love him. And maybe that would be the key to it, just get in front of a crowd at Goodison. So hopefully he'll be here in two weeks and he'll be playing. Um, and maybe that will give him that little bit extra of incentive. That will just take that little bit of doubt out, out of his mind about being at the club. I, I, I don't know, but... Um, let's hope so, Steve. Let's hope, let's hope that... You know, playing if we get we get to that point where he's playing in front of um, fans and he and he wants to stay. Um, Thor says, "Why can't Hammers not step up fitness wise? The same reason they will not pick him for Colombia as well. He seems a bit lazy. Sadly, the reason um, he's playing for us. Well, that, that's that's as I said, that's what sort of being mentioned in Colombia is. Um, he's not. He doesn't. You know." throw everything into it and he can't find that level and maybe he's holding himself back because um, because he feels like his body will break down that's up to the sort of the physios to work out I imagine at the club how far he can push himself and that's up to managing managing what he can do Yannick says from what it looks like Hammers has settled in with the squad quite well I think he understands there might be a lack of suitors given the transfer market conditions. If an offer came in, I think all parties understand he'll go. Not worried either way because Rafa will not have hinged his plans on a single player. No, that's that is absolutely right. That is right. Um, you know, I think there'll be a plan either way. Let's just have a look at the comments. Lots of comments coming in, just very very quickly. Um, let's see Hayley says we shouldn't be letting Hammers and his goals and assists go who's replacing them absolutely Charlie says don't think the money in return would benefit the squad as a whole too good of a player to let go thus uh, must keep and also we've just had a tournament in Florida where he was the main draw he is a huge player he's a, he's a well known player around the world you know, when he does things, people sit up and pay attention to it. And this season, with the crowds back at every ground, you know, he's a he's someone that really, if he's in good form, scoring goals or assisting goals, that, you know, the likes of Sky and the likes of BT, the TV companies will want to put on live because he's a match winner, because he's something different because he's a massive draw simple as that because he's a massive draw um Everton have got to consider that as well I know maybe the manager might cons- might consider that 
Um, but that's the marketing situation of the player as well. Everton have got to think about that very, very carefully. You know, you just let him go. Um, Michael says, think he will go, but hope he stays. FIFA man, let's go. Says, what do you think about Yeni Mina? Would you sell? Um, up to the, it depends on how many games he's going to play. Um, Pipe says you can't name a better Everton midfielder. If we let him go and keep Hammers and Mawobi, we will will be clowns at the Premier League. Uh, well, I I don't really class him as a midfielder. I class him as an attacker, as a number ten. Um, but but you but you're still right. Kieran says unless he's engineering it himself, how is he? How is he surplus? A Wobi Gomez and and Delph barely offer any stands of, but they are not the same kind of players. Gomez and Delph aren't the same kind of players, are they? You know, he's a number ten, and I imagine I imagine Everton are looking or are thinking of having three behind the striker who who have who are pacey, who are interchangeable. Now, yes, he plays in that number ten role, but if the manager is asking him to work harder, you know, we I think we should be on board with that as fans. Because the hardest working teams win things. You can't just let good players get away with it. Man City don't. They're the best team in the land and they don't. Look how hard their players work. Look how hard um, you know, all of those players play. So I think we should be demanding more out of all our players. But when people say, well, you know, you mentioned Gomez and Delft. They don't play in his position. He's a number 10. A will be can play in his position, but it's nowhere near as good as him, obviously. Um, Sam says, "Do you think if he did leave, we have the quality of players, quality and players potentially coming into a place what he brings to the side?" I personally don't feel we do. Not at the moment. No, we'd play a different play a different way, wouldn't we? I think, as I said, that three behind are going to offer pace from what we've seen so far. You've still got Richarlison to come back, which will he'll fill one of those roles as well. You know, you've got Richarlison, you've got Gray, you've got Townsend, you've got. A Wobi then now okay they're not technically as good nowhere near but can they 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 they've got power and pace so that's what maybe the manager's looking for as I said will Hammers step up is he too much of a luxury player um, Michael says we say we need to increase our commercial revenue and then we get rid of the most commercial assets absolutely um, Matt says. <clears throat> think he is at times a bit of a luxury player. Yeah, and then that's up to the club whether they want to manage him, isn't it? And use him sp- not sparingly, but you know, you know he's not going to play the entire game. You know he's probably a season. You know he's only going to play maybe twenty five games. So do you then say, well, this is how we're going to manage him? Is Rafa Benitez that kind of manager? Is he going to allow that? I don't know. Um, Ockham says. Hammers is a luxury, but a luxury we can't afford to let go. You don't replace players, pl- replace players like him. Hayley Jones, exactly. It's totally baffling how we're keeping a Wobi Gomez, who offer nothing but want rid of Hammers and his goals and assists. I think this is rumblings for, on from Rafa and Hammers at Madrid. Possibly, possibly. Um, Emmy says, what are your thoughts on offering PSV a payment structure based on whether or not Keen is sold. So if we sell for thirty-five million, we sell. We set. We pay PSV fifteen million. If we don't sell Keen, we pay PSV five million funds. Well, I mean, it's not really. Doesn't really matter, does it? If what what we say or what we think is the best structure that'll come down to the clubs. And I imagine Everton. You know, it does sound like Dumfries is interested in coming to Everton, and it looks like Dunphy's is in, it, PSV is interested in selling them. It's just about Everton getting their end sorted. And they just want to, might just be thinking, well, the longer we wait, the more chance we'll get of them. Then maybe the same way Paris Saint-Germain are thinking about Moise Keane. Mr. Jones says, Pace, we've got Gordon and Gray, but Gordon is 21, and judging by Everton fans' comments, he's still learning. Same, same as Holgate at 25. He's still um, learning. We have... Most eluded fans in the game. Uh, well, a bit harsh. I think football fans are the same everywhere. They're led by emotion most of the time. FIFA man says, "I think we should not sell if if we if we do it will not benefit the club." Alex says, "Hammers Hammers can create a lot of chances, 
Uh, for Dominic Calvary with Charleston and possibly Keane playing him in the middle with Townsend and Gray on the wings, just think of the amount of chances that we will have. Absolutely, absolutely. Jimmy says when he's good, he's very good. When he's bad, he stinks. Too many times last season he was rubbish, giving away five yard passes. I mean, was he? Did that? How many times? And I mean, you're right, but how many times did that happen? Um, the People's Club says, "Is this, is this to get?" Say ten million towards FFP. Well, I think, I think, the way to look at it is him being thirty. If he's surplus to the manager's requirements, then and there's offers and there's offers, then you better just so probably I imagine not having the problem. But of course, it comes down to if there's offers, and is the, is this a way of generating offers? Is this a is this saying is this saying you know come and get me? I want to leave. I don't know. And as I said, maybe if he gets into Goodison Park that first weekend and sees what it's like, and sees what it's like with fans and fans singing his name and all the rest of it, maybe he'll go. Actually, I, I want to stay here. He hasn't got had that relationship so far. That's which is sad. Um, Griff says Benitez has been brought in to bin, brought in to sort this mess out. If he doesn't want Hammers end the story, he'll be judged on decisions. Correct. James says thing is we don't know what goes on behind the scenes. We like to think we do, but in reality we don't. No, we don't know conversations. Of course we don't. Adam says Hammers must stay. The pastime says slightly worried now that we're gonna sign. We're not gonna sign anyone else now. Well, we've got a month, haven't we? We have got a month to get get some players in uh, if we want more players or get players out of course uh, let's have a look on our patron Adam Smith said are these reports true that <laughs> that Rafa Benitez because you said something not nice and I, I, I won't do that because that's not on He's our manager now. Um, wouldn't be happy if true. Benitez has always been awful in the market and we shouldn't be getting rid of good players with Benitez calling the shots. Well, he's the manager and ultimately the manager will be asking for certain situations. You know, simple as that. Kane says, I think it's risky letting Rodriguez go without a replacement ready as we, we are not going to have, to have uh, other players. Uh, a lot of goals and creativity out of the team. I do worry that uh, it could be a problem this season if we let Hemmers go, and obviously we have FFP problems. Do we take a cut on Keen deal at thirty million? Because to me, we need to get this sorted. No, we do, Kane, don't we? We need to get it sorted. But you're absolutely right. We're taking, we'd be taking major goals out the team, and I'm not, re- not really replacing them because Townsend and Gray are not renowned goal scorers. They never have been. So we would be taking goals out the side. And that's something you, you know, that's something we can't do. As simple as that. Um Matthew Ashes, I wish we could live in a world live in a world to bench hammers and it seems we realistically be pinned back by and playing in games where um, we will have the majority of the ball. Yeah, well that's what he did last season, didn't he, really, Carlo? John Jones says Hammers is the latest. Duncan McKenzie will all need a hero when we're not when we're not a big team, big dunk etc. Absolutely, um, not sure why we made a 35, 35 million pound punt on a nineteen year old. Um, what is wrong with our own kids? I don't think we have made a thirty five million pound punt. To be honest, on anyone, I don't think we've got thirty five million. And uh, David says, "Let's get in. Let's get in a few loans. They've always saved us well and gives the player an incentive to improve." Um, yeah, I mean, who are these loans, though? I suppose that's the that's that's the thing, isn't it? Who are who are they? Uh, John says, "Delph, Sigurdsson, Tolson, Kenny uh, only have a year left on their contracts, so not a problem. A Wobie and Gomez are a deeper problem." Um, well, they won't be a problem next season, of course, because they'll, they'll be gone. Um, let's have a look 
and the patrons. Uh, YouTube regarding uh, Oscom says regard, regarding Hammers being happy, who would be happy making a hundred thousand pounds to be playing football in Florida? Of course, he's happy. Andres says reports out to Spain and Colombia are that Benitez told them day one when he reported that he did not count with him and he should look for another team. Yeah, I've seen that. Seen that mentioned. Yeah, um, mm, be interesting. Be interesting if that was true, but I don't think any manager does that. He might sit down and say, "You're not in my plans at the moment. Ch change my mind." I don't know. Uh, Aussie Dylan, hello, mate. I'm okay. Fabi and Delph in the comments. Um, Keenan Trippier, Ped, short-term option? No, I want a long-term option. We've got short-term options. We need the long-term options at right back. We've been crying out for one for two seasons. And it has to be for me this summer if we're going to kick on. It really does. Chris says, Hammers Rodriguez come to our club with the knowledge he was going to play a small amount of games under Carlo. Now Benitez is there, he may not get that luxury. Yeah, Navidson says, I'd happily swap uh, Hammers for a first choice right back. Fair enough. FIFA man says, do you think our youth players are talented as PSG's youth players? I've got no idea. I've got no idea what... Uh, Paris but I imagine Paris Saint-Germain number one they've got a bigger catchment area 10 million people within the area of Paris no other club um, we don't have that luxury we've got Liverpool Manchester United and Manchester City just just, just on our doorstep you know and that's without the rest of the country which now young players seem to be going from um, clubs you know a drop of a hat now um, Ewinga says with Dumfries could we not look at an obligation to buy after a loan uh, P do PSV want to do that they, they they want money like we want money for our players I imagine Lee Reynolds says I really hope we're not forcing Hammers out the club never seen him look so happy by going by going by all the videos and saying I understand the wages but wouldn't really be getting transfer fee we, well, we would. We'd be getting a transfer fee for him. Definitely. He wouldn't be leaving on a free. So we'd absolutely be getting a transfer fee for him. Um, Adam says, The Rafa Hammers strain was seven or eight years ago, so surely this would have uh, buried the hatchet. And plus, the both professionals, I thought, the saying was, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Yeah, I mean, some people can't. Can't, though, can they? But... You know, a lot of people didn't want Rafa Benitez as the manager and still don't want him as our manager. So, you know, they can't bury the hatchet. So, um, Ozcam says, what would you prefer, a goalkeeper with eight arms or a striker with four heads? Um, I mean, eight arms for a goalkeeper would probably be better, I'd imagine. You know, no point. If you've got eight heads and the ball's at your feet, it's going to put you off balance. Um, Wamish Spoon says in the first half a Wob a Wobie Delph and Gray were rotational between the positions. I mean Delph wasn't even in America, so I'm not sure about that. Um I think you mean Townsend. Um Paul says Carvent Loon needs to focus on football rather than fashion, thinks he's thinks he's already made it. Well he has already made it, hasn't he? Um I mean, he has. He has already made it. He's a professional footballer who played for England in the Euros. Um, he has definitely already made it. Um, he can do what he wants, essentially. He's on holiday. He can do what he wants. If he wants to wear... He can wear what he wants, do what he wants, because he's on holiday. And when he comes back, he'll get down to business, because that's the kind of kid he is. Uh, Carlton says, do you think we should sign a new centre-half? Uh, if we sell one, yes, we should. I think Brantwaite's still probably a, a year off, but we could definitely do with another one if we sell one. Um, Reynaldo says, okay, so Hammers leaves and, and Awobi stays. I don't, yeah, but you've got to have someone to buy Awobi. That's, you know, that's the problem, isn't it? That's the problem. John Joe says, Gray can be a good number 10. 
Um, yeah, I mean, he's tr- been tried there, hasn't he? I mean, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what his technical ability is like. He's only played a couple of pre-season games. Let's see what he's like in the Premier League first. Um, Juan says, if he wants to be at the club, he's actually he, he, he is actually very happy. Unfortunately, the club has hired a really awful coach. I mean, the, the club hasn't hired an awful clo- co- coach, has he? The other coach decided to walk out on the club. And the club did what it felt it needed to do. Simple as that. They haven't hired an awful coach. They've hired an actually a very good coach. But if he doesn't get on with Hamas Rodriguez, that's just the way it is. The one that did get on with Hamas Rodriguez decided to walk out of the football club and walk out on Hamas. So, you know. Uh, Fabian says, Dalaped, question mark. Yeah, he's all right, but he's not someone I want playing. You know, I want us to go and get a really good attacking right back that we want our first choice. James says if he went back to Madrid, he, he won't play. He won't play it all all the time. He won't play probably half of the time, I imagine. Be little cameos, but at least he'd be with Carlo, his you know his favorite person in the world. Um, let's have a look. Rob says I couldn't care less if Hammers leaves if he doesn't want to play enough. He 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 doesn't play enough games and has no pace. Yeah, but what about the goals? What about the goals he give up? We we you know we'd be giving up from last season. The goals he scored and the goals he assisted. You know that's they that's massively important. It doesn't matter how many games you play if you're assisting and you're scoring goals and other people aren't. That's huge. You know the people who came in for Hammers didn't do the jo- couldn't do the job. Well, we scored one goal last season. One goal. Um, Matt says you might be losing some goals, but surely with a different system and playing coming from wide positions, you're looking to create... um, Looking to create wear and not be dependent. Yeah, yeah, you're changing the system. Yeah, I get that completely. I get that. And that's what the manager might be saying. Um, Ronaldo says Benitez doesn't want him not the other way round well fair enough if that's the case that's the case uh, Adam says is he, he is contacted us for two years with an option of a third yes that's correct um, David says if you want Hammers to go you are deluded okay Robert Wakeman says hi from Hot Vienna watch Moyes Keane PSG PSG goals he's a goal poacher Almost all those goals were scored from close range. They were, yeah, within six yard box. Definitely. Michael says R- Richie clearly struggled with no crowd last season. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, A up says I will be out. Yeah, I mean, but no one will buy him. That's the problem. No one will buy him. Okay, let's have a look on our Patreon. John Joe says, Delph, Siggy, Tosin. Um, yeah, done that one over night. Connor says, would be gutted if, if we never got to see Hammers in the flesh. Yeah, I would, mate. John says, goals paired is the big issue. Absolutely. Uh, lack of goals is the elephant in the room. Trippy for me, head of Dunphy's or Bailey must be prim- proven. Um, yeah. Okay, last. F- let's just race through these comments. Um, Alex says the only position we need to focus on is right back. Certain Spanish teams or Portugal team Portugal teams could be looking for Gomez. He's proven to do well in in the leagues, um, and we could then sign Dumfries. Yeah, we might. What might happen is once the season starts, we might get into a situation where players feel like they're they're not um, wanted, and that's when they might leave. We'll see what happens. Um, J- Jason says, "Can't they do anything to mend his injury issues?" <sighs> I don't know. I'm not an. I'm not a medical person. So, um, Fabian says, "Agreed." David uh, Vanegas, especially when the alternative at the moment is Alex Obobi. God help us. Henry says, "Do you think Hammers doesn't like the cold weather?" There? Um, he's played in Germany. Pretty cold in Germany. Um, let's have a 
Loch. Andre says James wants Hammers wants to stay, likes the league and the league um, and the team. They are the reports that he is upset that the team is releasing news and he wants to leave to put it on him. The manager does not want him. Well, the thing about it is, though, where this story came from, there's no way Everton are releasing it to this or anyone at Everton is releasing it to these people. So, this might be people in Madrid just making mischief. I don't know. Um, Lee says, agree with the grey point, though, through the middle. As we don't have a number 10, but then it leaves a short still on the wings. Um David says, Hammer, give Hammers the season till the season starts. Hopefully, he'll be fit. Absolutely. Um, Keith says, Do you really think Dumfries is that good? If you don't, um, it, if he is, don't you think there would have been more interest? Yeah, but the teams in this country certainly have, have already got right backs. If he's the player they've, what they looked at him once and he's the right price, then. Yeah, yeah, I, I do think he's good good enough. Paul says, uh, when there are players like Calvin Lou and Moise Keane and Tom, uh, Tom Davis and me as well, we're never going to progress. <laughs> Paul, you t- chat absolute wham, mate. Calvin Lewin, are you ab- you what are you smoking, mate? Jesus Christ, got a. Pro- are you one of those people who said two years ago that Calvin Loon would never do nothing and now you're gutted that he is? Jesus. Mike says seems crazy to push out someone um with the inter- with the international pull and can play football. Absolutely. Liam says thinks it's bizarre that we would be considering Cam- selling Camus Rodriguez. He's arguably our best player. We have to we have got uh, taking him out the side takes away goals and assists from the team. Hope we don't sell him. Absolutely. T- two feet. Artifice says, will be similar situation with Bernard, where because we bought him for a free fee, the fee we're selling. No, no, no. No, we want money for him if he goes. Uh, Keith Powell says, I paid. Be such a shame for Evertonians not to see Hammers live at Goodison. If not Dumfries, not Dalit. Best alternative. And he lives locally too. Yeah, maybe. Um, Tazzle says shows the the mentality of Benitez. Um, he's he prefers a journeyman like Townsman over Hammers. Get ready for born and football next season. Wait and see. Um, let's have a look. Jude, I asked that question before, not you, you <laughs> over Hammers and Dumfries. Um, Noble says, Townsend technically isn't that good. This is so much of an understatement, it's funny. Oh, we'll wait and see, wait and see. I won't make a judgment about a play before I actually see him. Uh, David says, I was supporting Rafa the whole time, but this Hammers news is absolutely stupid. Again, we'll have to wait and see. Steve says, let's be honest, he is a warm weather player, never a blue. No, I don't agree with that. I don't think there's any evidence to back that up. Actually, he played in Germany in, in much colder conditions than he plays here. Um, Grazi MTB says, surely with a 4 2 3 1 with Hammers in the number 10, he, he he can be more static than the rest. There's energy with the two holding in midfield, um, wing choices of pace. If right back is sorted, the width. Um, with with pace there too no absolutely we spoke about that yesterday me and Baz on, on the show as well and how if we had a really good right back we could get away with it. we could get away with um, definitely get away with him playing as a number 10 Derek says love the community on this channel gotta keep Chamez he can fit into the system if he wants to absolutely um, Ben says he's more than a name he's a brand I absolutely agree with that as well Um Simon says, Hammers won't run games or defend, 
but he'll create at least one or two chances for the striker. Should score them every time he plays. He shouldn't be. We shouldn't be letting him go without a ready-made alternative. Uh, yeah, definitely. Rob said everyone seems to be forgetting the Hammers might want to leave, and if that's the case, then let him go. No point keeping unhappy players if they don't want to be at the club. Yeah, but to be fair, we shouldn't be jumping to any conclusions about this at all. But it is good. Um, it is good to get everyone's opinion. John says Benitez is getting people on side up to now, but letting getting rid of Hammers is mad to me. There is other players who aren't doing or adding half what he adds. Um, who could be removed to make money. Good point. Kevin says, Hammers will stay. He's the whole he he's the whole markability in North America as North America um, as a North American, he sells shirts, he brings in sponsors and eyeballs. Yeah, absolutely. We don't have enough of that. Um Dan says Gordon could do a job to be honest. He has pace and can beat a man and get a crossing. Yeah, I think he might need another another bit of time on loan, to be honest. If yeah. Just to build himself up a little bit. Keith says, please do not start blaming Rafa already for the Hammers situation. The day after Carlo left, the media said that Hammers will uh, will leave um, and his agent bandied them around Europe immediately. Absolutely, absolutely, Keith. You're absolutely spot on. This is not a new thing. This has been rumbling on all summer and it was only sort of put to one side when we went to America. So those rumours were before the manager we got. Um. Yeah. Basic trigonometry. Hello, mate. Thank you for looking after the comments. Um. Brian says I hope he's. I pray he stays. Let's just find some people in the comments who we haven't heard from yet. Jamie B says I think Hammers is brilliant, but sh uh, but shout at me all you want for this. But if we get fifteen million for him, I'd take it. Either that or he leaves for free next season. Fair play. Fair play. Mark Hansen says FFP sucks. Only used to stop the elite sides getting getting passed by teams with money to spend. Um, makes you wonder how Arsenal can afford fifty million for Ben White after they sacked the mascot to save money. Yeah, maybe that's why they sacked them. There you go. There you go. A um, lot of comments still flying in. Um, thank you for that. Let's just check the... Graham Bradley says, No reason. Hamez can't be a static player in the number 10 with workers around them. Playing one twos and pinged, pinging balls and hovering the box. Defo keep keep oversell. Matthew Ash says, Some maximum rumours bouncing around Twitter again. 95% likely to be jagged though. Uh, definitely. Definitely. There you go. Thank you. Big thank you for everyone for um, joining us on this stream. Sorry if you didn't get tried to get a uh, tried to get a comment from everyone. Obviously, people are asking more than once. I'm trying to get uh, try to get everyone's out there. But big thank you for everyone for joining us on the stream. Um, I'll be back at five o'clock. If you're on Patreon, join me on Patreon. If you're not on Patreon, why aren't you on Patreon? Get over the link is in the description. Get over there and join us. We do this every single day. At uh, five o'clock. So all our patrons, I will see you at five o'clock. Uh, yeah, and check out all our other videos if you haven't so far. Nice one. See you later.